Hello, all my favorite people. It's Sikodin here, and we are playing Always Sometimes Monsters. Last time we left off, we were going to this dude's apartment to see what's going on. He invited us to move with him, which is pretty cool. We're gonna find out if this is gonna work out for us or not. Hey there, Omelette! I'll contact you when I'm ready to head to Beaton. Oh, cool, so he's not... I guess we just wait. Cool. Cool beans. Alright, now what? We gotta make more money. Why'd the music change? That was weird. <laughs> that was actually really weird. <laughs> okay, whatever. Just thinking about in a sandwich. I'm trying to focus on a sandwich. I haven't eaten in at least three days. I don't have a sandwich right now. I kind of. Let's see, coffee shop. Oh, the arcade's open now. We probably could find a minifigure inside here, so let's go in and check it out. Hey, look at that! Ooh, it's from Barkley 2, Revenge of Kuhulain. Huh. Kakulain. That's different. Different. Different, guys. It's different. Welcome to Golden City Arcade. Thanks. What do you have? Arcade Pass. Unlimited play at the arcade. We don't have time for arcade play. You guys can get the game and play all the arcade you want. But what's with this sleazy guy over here? You checking my swag? I know you are. You swagalicious son. You are all swagged out. You have so much swag I have to leave. Um well we got to the point where Let's let's look in here. Maybe we can find something for the dog inside here even. It doesn't have to be for me, but maybe there's something for the dog. I think that'd be pretty cool. I don't want to spend my hard-earned money for a dog, but I mean it'll be a hundred bucks. Yeah. Dog wanted. I don't know how to catch it. There's the dog, but oh, it's nighttime. I forgot it's nighttime. Pub will be open. Oh yeah. What's here? Is this a bathroom? No. Why is it all empty? Uh, some water. <laughs> One water coming up. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> he seemed really upset that I ordered the water. What do you expect, though? I'm broke. I'm not really broke. It's all good in the hood. You know how it is. Um, the grocery store still open. It is. All right. I don't know what this dog wants, but I'm gonna give in and buy some sort of meat for it. What do you guys think? Sausage. Sausages tend to be a big thing for dogs. How much are they? Ten bucks. All right. Let's go get ten bucks out and get us some sausages for the dog. I'm glad my bank card, like, pin number hasn't disappeared yet. Alright, we need ten bucks. Yay! I'm so broke now. I wish I made this kind of money, like, in real life. Like, doing dumb, odd jobs. I mean, a hundred bucks a day is amazing under the table kind of stuff. Like, how would you even get... <laughs> Like, to be an interviewer or some random company. I can't even, like, think of it. I know there's gotta be a figurine here somewhere. Wait, what's this? Real harsh smokes. They taste like death. Ah, it's a cigarette vendor. Ah, we don't need any of that. Is there anything for me to click on? Hey, buddy. All Molette wants a job. Any particular talents? I'm pretty good with words. Uh, it's gonna be fine. There's two doors at the end of the hallway over. One leads to a different bus group, one will take you to a different work site. Because it's not coming back until that bus comes for you. Uh, cash at the end of the day when you get back. Some jobs pay more than others, but you can earn pretty well at most. So you work hard. Of course, the agency one gets half of it as part of your placement agreement. That sucks. That is ridiculous. Uh, if you don't like it, hit the road. Uh, the buses leave too. 
I think the first door is heading off to a meat packing plant if you're good with machines and assembly line, and the other one's going to some tofu factory. <laughs> Turning tofu into fake chicken nuggets or something. Well, the meat packing factory might if this meat doesn't work for this dog. I might actually be able to get meat for the dog there if I wanted to go out that way. I have, so I guess because the sausage links aren't cooked, I can't do anything about it. And anyways, um, uh, I guess we don't really have much of a choice left here. Guess we're crashing here later that day. Oh, it was only evening. Damn. Now it's nighttime. Get to hospital. Viper OD'd. Uh, I'll just have to check in tomorrow. Shouldn't piss away to my days like that. Yeah, I know. I didn't. I forgot. I thought it was e I thought it was nighttime. I didn't realize it was evening. Knock knock. I'm glad these two haven't been in here for a while. Yay, another journal page has been completed. Yay, day four. Four days and I got like $600. Like, I could just imagine doing this for a living. Yeah, I know. Hospital is closed. Where are you, hospital? There you are. Welcome to Dobbs Town General. All your refreshing finding figurine needs are here. <laughs> oh, Liam! Gods will be watching. I heard that was good. I haven't played it. I want to check it out sometime. If you guys are interested, definitely hit me up in the comments. I need more comments. Hey, buddy. I don't know what to do. Vipers. She's... Oh, gosh, she's... Are you okay? What happened? Well, after we talked the other day, I thought a lot about what you said. Some of it's still hard to understand, and even more of it's hard to swallow. I realized that I couldn't be with Viper and stay clean. With her in my life, there would be amazing highs, but we'd both burn out so fast we'd barely live an instant compared to what I could do without her. I want to do great things, Omelette. The stuff I'm playing now, it's just a sample of what I know I can be. But that'll never happen with Viper strangling me. <laughs> Jesus, you told her all that? I had to! And I knew this was a possibility. If it had been me instead of her, I know I'd be right where she was trying to fix my sad, pathetic heart with as much junk as my veins can hold. But it was the right thing for me. At least, I thought it was. You're not guilty of anything, you know. She did this to herself. You know, you don't have any responsibility for her actions, man. Why the hell are you beating yourself up over something you can't control? Because I'm a fucking addict, too. We're opposite ends of a seesaw, and if one doesn't go down, the other can never go up. Today she pays, and tomorrow I will, because that's the way it goes. There is no balancing. Yeah, there is! You can't hold on forever. It's time to check her out. Damn, bitch, you scary! JK. She seems okay for now. So who's paying for all this? I know you don't have any money, so I don't know how she can afford to stay here. The label's helping out a lot, probably because they're worried the story will get leaked if she's not taken care of. Since I told them I wasn't going to do the rest of the tour, though, they've kind of closed the coin purse. It wouldn't be a problem if this fucking doctor had a heart, though. Doctors are doing their job, and everything does cost money. They're fixing her, but that's all they can do, man. The doctor looking after Viper. He's an expert, the absolute best you can get in this city. He's got the means to help fix her, but he demands all this money for his work. I get that he's talented and invested a lot to be who he is, but that doesn't mean shit when people's lives are on the line. I swear, I saw them kick an old lady out of here the other day because her dead husband's military pension didn't cover her prescriptions. It's disgusting. Have you talked to the guy? Maybe he's not as heartless as you think. Ask him to do some work, pro boner. Pro boner? <laughs> yeah, why not? A oh, pro bono. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. The <laughs> least you can do is ask. I'm sure he'd listen at least. Shit, see? I'm no good with these things. Come on, you've got to help me out. 
Go talk to him for me and work your magic. Give him a little scare, make him do what you want. I don't know about that, but I guess I could talk to him sometime. Where would I find him? He's a stickler for routine. Every morning he gets a coffee at the Krusty Kreme. He ducks out early every afternoon to go see a movie at the Sunny Megaplex, and after hours he's probably at the Empire Pub congratulating himself. I wrote it all down for you. Oh, thanks. I'll be hanging around here pretty much all the time. Go talk to him and let me know what he says. Well, I guess there's no harm in trying. As long as I'm not trying to make anything. What is it? Morning? It is morning, right? Or is it afternoon now? It's, af it's evening. Okay. What's the note stay? Note, note, note. Where would he be now? Oops. Wrong button. Okay. Uh, afternoon, he'll be at the movies. So, uh, let's go to the movies. You know, I'm starting to think this doctor is what we were dealing with at the beginning of this boot. You know, beginning of this game. There he is. Dr. Berenstein. You got a second? What? Who are you? Uh, it's about a patient. Let me guess. That blue-haired freak show wasting a bed someone else could use because she's got no self-control. She might as well get a member's rate. She's in here so much. Never with a penny in hand. If you're here to ask me to help her for free, no, I won't do it. I already told your friend that barely five minutes ago. You guys rove in packs? Uh, why not? It's a life, isn't it? Not all lives are equal. Whoa, 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 buddy. Whoa. Let that be a rather harsh professional opinion. Not only have limited time to help people. That is true. I don't have time to judge people and money is a maker, is a marker of one's ability to function in better society. Uh, your friend, despite the glamorous dumpster grunge appearance, doesn't have any. You elitist bastard! Please, save me the minority card. My wife's darker than you. Whoa! <laughs> now if you don't mind, I've got another two hours before my next patient meeting. Besides all that, I didn't come to own the old Hofstein, Hofstetter mansion working for free. Well, that didn't go as planned. I better go speak with Dark F at the hospital. We need a ticket to catch the movie. But if we catch the movie, can we still talk to him? I don't know. Probably not. Can I, is there anything in here? Let me go check these posters real quick. You never know when you're going to find another figurine. I don't know if we can collect all the figurines. There's a freaking Gachapon machine, but... I guess we can't collect them all. We might be better off just selling the ones that we have. Um, yum, yum. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go see Dark F. At least visiting hours aren't done yet. So I met the doc, real piece of work. He's a total asshole and won't budge on the bill. We gotta do something, she's going to die. We gotta blackmail him. How? A guy like that's gotta have some interesting dirt. We could break into his place and find something incriminating and use it to persuade him to fix Viper for free. He mentioned something about an old Hoff Cedar mansion outside town. If I remember correctly, don't mansions have heavy security? Plus, we're not master thieves. What the hell are you thinking? <laughs> then we can just go smash up his car. That'll make him know we're serious. Ethics aside, that might actually work. Whenever you're ready to go, just let me know and I'll drive us out there. Do it quick though, we don't have much time. She's got. <sighs> it's, that's bad, but it'll look good for my story. Let's go smash up a doctor's car. I don't know why you insist on wearing that. It's so people can't tell who I am. Right, well, I'm sure we can find a computer or something somewhere around here if we look. Or we could just smash up that car over there and get the hell out of here. Hey, be careful. I'm sure this place is loaded with security cameras and stuff. You're way too paranoid. Wait here, I'll go pick the front door lock. No, man! There's a security camera on that thing. I can see the camera on the side right there on the left. Come on, let's do this. For Viper! we get, I think it'd be better just to smash the car up. We have a crowbar, so I kicked the shit out of it, but I don't want to damage my shoes. I know, I know. I We have a crowbar. Uh, can we use the crowbar? Is it not letting me use the crowbar? Uh, I have a crowbar, man. 
Unless there's a security camera there. Am I missing anything? Is there something else? Like, how am I supposed to do any- I mean, a pawn shop probably have, like, a friggin' baseball bat or something. Well, I guess we're not beating a car up. This mansions, why are you following me, man? You're just gonna get me in trouble later. Alright, I see something over there. There's a computer, but I'm not... That bear's got a name embroidered on its chest. I guess your name is Grizzly Jones, little fella. Grizzly Jones! Alright, we got a baseball club. Let's just keep that out, because it looks like there's something, some sort of security system going on there. I prefer not to get any deeper than I need to. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, let's, let's do it. There goes the car alarm. Ah! <laughs> Come on! Oh, my fingers are gonna fall off. The alarm's going off. They're gonna come get me. We're all gonna go to jail. We're all gonna suffer. We're all gonna get butt raped. Things wrecked. <laughs> you took the doctor's hood ornament. It's probably worth a pretty penny. Let's get the fuck out of here, man. Come on, man. We're getting out of here. Wait. Which way's out? Wait, what the hell? That wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here and stop running. It was way more fun than I thought it'd be. Well, I should scare him into helping Viper. I'll send you a page when we're ready to confront him. Viper's getting worse. <laughs> Thanks, you're the best. What are friends for, I guess? Now it's nighttime. Hopefully he doesn't figure out that it was this guy, though, because he didn't do anything to hide himself. Yay! I got Steve from Discourse. <sighs> okay, I'll see her. I guess we got to go back out. I think that's the way out. We got 19 minutes. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut this one. I think uh, we got a little, little further in here. It's still long videos. I'm trying to beat this for you guys so we can keep going on to something else. But, it's awesome nonetheless, because there are so many choices in this game. I just don't know where to start and where to finish, so... I, uh, I thank you. I thank you for watching, and I will definitely catch you guys in the next video. <laughs> Come on now.